Hey everyone, I have an interesting video for you today. I still don't know how I feel about this. So this is a first impression video. And I was, I admit it, I was virtual window shopping on Amazon um, the other day. I think I can't even blame Corona. I think it was, no, I think it was actually when the Corona thing started. And I have a gift card for my birthday that was in November that I still haven't used. And this was the perfect opportunity. So I saw this palette and I was very curious. So this looked online um, really, really similar to this palette that I have. This one is from Magello, I wanna say, and this is made in Korea. It's really, really nice. I really like it. I think it's a fantastic also um, palette for traveling. It's not the most compact, obviously, but it's just to give you an idea, this is, what, 27 centimeters. So it's not, I'll show you an example of the regular metal tins, but it's very light and um, yeah, it's it has a ton of space for color mixing as you can see. What I don't like about it is that, you know, I think it has a good amount of wells, but I really like to switch colors around and once and that, that's problematic with these types of palettes if you're the kind of person that has like a go-to uh, limited palette then i think these are great i really enjoy the wells you know you can really control how much paint you get on your brush and um yeah i really really like the setup of this palette but it also has this extra um mixing tray so tons of space so this is a palette that i've had for a long time i'm familiar with it and i have to say i don't use it a lot because of the fact that you can't very easily change the colors and then i saw this one now it doesn't feel as nice i have to say uh, this one is made in china the plastic is very very sturdy but when i saw it so first of all it's a lot heavier than the other one but the cool thing about it is that um, the inside is very, very similar. I'll zoom out just a little bit. So you can see how it compares to this one. Um, the size is, yeah, this one is a little bit bigger. The wells are deeper and you can see here like longer than this. So I really like that. A lot of people also put the paint, like they squeeze it here and then the water kind of runs down here and it, the paint itself doesn't really get contaminated. Uh, I don't mind that much. The This is quite slanted, I would say. So there's quite um, an angle between here and here. Uh, I feel it's a bit more noticeable than this one. But yeah, there's like a lot of space. But the cool thing about it is that it has this insert in it. Now, I was wondering before I ordered this, I looked at this palette and I was wondering if I could put the same thing. But you can see that the size is wrong and it has that um, this ridge in the middle. So it wouldn't work with that one. But this one is deeper and this area is perfectly... Um, it fits this perfectly. I just want to see if this is like a standard uh, insert that you have in the these tins. Well, this one is a little bit smaller, so this one is a better um, snug fit, which is good. And you can see it has, it, it looks well made. It has like the raised edges here. It is a little bit sharp, but yeah, this means that basically you can add any um, full pan, half pan here uh, or not. You could take it out if you wanted, but this to me looks like 
kind of the perfect idea and you still have the mixing tray and all this area for mixing. Um, this looks like a really great idea to me because for me there are certain colors that I want to have in every palette and I could very easily squeeze those into several of the wells here and then here have uh, a changing range of colors. So while I, I don't know, it's kind of clunky, uh, a little bit bulky, but I think it could be a really good uh, palette for someone like me that kind of really likes and enjoys to switch things around. So even in my studio palette, you know, which I really, really love this one. This is um, heavy uh, porcelain. I got it from Jackson's. I really, really love it, but you know, you can see I have s some colors I have still in pans and I don't know if I should just commit to a limited palette and just fill the wells here or just squeeze a little bit. Sometimes I forget what I squeezed there before, so uh, I don't know. I, I love to paint with uh, porcelain and I don't ever see myself uh, switching like this palette is one of my studio uh, palettes but I really think that this is a great idea I'm really curious about this so I think what I might do I was talking in a previous video about making a seasonal palette that brands should come out with a seasonal palettes, and I think maybe I'll do a spring uh, palette kind of setup in this one now this holds so many colors but I have to say you know I like options I don't use a ton of colors in any given painting I doubt I ever use more than I don't know let's say like the most colorful painting I can't imagine I use more than 10 colors and that would be already quite a few for me but here you could fit potentially 24 colors, 24 half pans here or 12 full pans or a combination of them, which I love. And then some colors I really love to have a big pan where I can use a big brush and I don't have to like squeeze it into a tiny half pan. And then here you have 16, 16 more wells around. So yeah, I wanna know if you have seen this, if you have tried this, what do you think of this concept? I think it has really great potential. I'm excited to fill it. So maybe I'll do like every season, I'll do here my 16 permanent colors and then here I'll do my changing seasonal paints or, you know, paint by your mood. So. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share this with you. I will link this below if you're interested. This is first impressions. I don't like the red. <laughs> and I don't know if they had, probably I thought it was pink or something, or maybe they didn't have uh, other colors. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.